Hello everyone and welcome to my second redstone tutorial. Uh, I haven't been feeling very well this week, you can probably hear it in my voice, so I'm just doing a quick overview of my uh, redstone sequencer. Uh, the principles behind this thing are pretty simple, so I'd be surprised if this isn't already in use all over the place. Uh, but uh, basically you've got a dropper with unstackable items in it shooting into a hopper which is aimed back into the dropper. The hopper is locked so every time it gets another unstackable item it increases the signal strength coming out of the comparator by three. This of course is a pretty simple Etho hopper clock. If you don't know how to build one uh, I'm sure Etho has a uh, video on, up on that. Uh, so if we put just a couple items in here, that'll go pretty quick, and we can see the first one's gone in already. So signal strength three, second one goes in, signal strength six, and third one goes in, signal strength nine. We pull signal off of there into a small uh, signal or pulse extension, and that keeps this uh, torch off long enough for these to drain back in and it's really just that simple. Now what you can do with it is kind of cool. You can make a kind of funky door which if you're not really fast shuts on you. Uh, that is just extending the signal off of the button and then this is a really fast clock. Actually, that should be, huh. Uh, and then we got four unstackable items, and then we pull signal off of each segment of three. And I actually had to extend this one to uh, give you enough time to get through that final door. Might be useful on PvP servers, uh, that sort of thing, but uh, the sequencer will work up to five segments. So we got one, two, three, four, five. You have to get a fairly substantial uh, signal ex or pulse extender uh, to keep the torch off long enough for the items to drain back in. But if we turn this on, this is actually. Uh, the system I used to make a Iron Titan look like it was spawning golems. So the monostable circuit goes off, that comes into a uh, randomizer, uh, which means uh, if it only gets a signal strength of one, this command block will fire and summon a skeleton. If it gets a signal strength of three, this command block fires and locks that repeater. Uh, so if we come up here, we can see where those skeletons are spawning. And this is actually where I came up with the need for a uh, sequencer. Uh, this is Exuma's... Oh, I got those placed in the wrong spot, I think. This is uh, Exuma's spawning platforms from his very first... I think he called it uh, a weather, uh, wither nether farm, something like that. Uh, but what should happen is skeletons and pigmen and blazes spawn here. They get pushed off, and then this is where I changed it. I added all these pistons, which fire one after the other and push things on down. In fact, if we come over here. We can turn this on and get a view of that in action. So, as you can see, if I had all of these pistons firing all at the same time, uh, it would probably cause problems. That guy's probably glitched into a block. Looks like I got the spawning wrong, but uh, 
yeah, all of these pistons firing all at the same time would probably cause a little bit of lag on the server. And on the Bificraft server, season two, I've actually built this system out to cover five intersections. This one only covers two. So if you cut it in half, pasted it on there, and then took this section again and ran it off this direction, you'd have an idea of how big uh, this is. And then this bit goes up two more. So it's a pretty huge build. Uh, but you definitely wouldn't want all of these pistons firing all at the same time on all of these rows, which is where the sequencer comes in. Uh, basically, you set this up so that it's got enough items in it that when one row finishes, the next row starts. And that keeps things pretty consistent. But again, you just pull it off the first segment, and then you pull signal off the second segment, into a monostable, into a pulse, into the caterpillar, and then off the third segment, a little tiny uh, signal extender, and it all resets. But that is it, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. That is it, guys. I uh, hope you have enjoyed the video. I should have a world download for you to play with, uh, so check the description below. And if you think you might use this, I would love to see a video of how you employ it. Uh, but I am Leah Sara, and thanks for watching.